Good evening, everybody. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. Um, so I just wanted to get the vlog started. We are going to have a relaxing resort night, but we are going to Disney property. Um, so far today, I got a lot of work done, which is awesome. What's really awesome is my back has been hurting lately just sitting on the laptop just like, I think it's just because it's like a new, you know, way of working for me. And so being able to sit on the couch with a laptop has been awesome. I also did some yoga today. It's like safe two week wait, really relaxed yoga. And then um, I'm getting dinner started. So I just took the potatoes out of the oven and I'm actually gonna make twice baked potatoes but before I bake them again, I'm going to add in like, basically make like makeshift chili with the potatoes and then restuff them and bake them again. So I don't know, hopefully it turns out good. Kind of like, I, I don't know, like I'm gonna like taco fire, but it's gonna be beans if that makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a, a messy stove, but this is how everything looks put together. I'm a little bit worried it's a little too wet. I'm still gonna try and put them back in. Hopefully it works out. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use my salt as a tripod. Um, just to show you, I'm just taking like a spoonful and putting one spoonful on each side. That way I'll have like a decent amount of leftovers of this. Um, and then these won't like overflow. I am gonna top these with nutritional yeast. And then I also have some vegan ranch that we'll put on top. Um, and I'm gonna make a tomato salad too. So I do tomato, half an onion, actually it was two tomatoes. Then olive oil, malt vinegar. I typically use red wine vinegar, I don't have it. Um, salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano, and it is just so good. I can't wait for tomatoes to be back in season. These are pretty pathetic, but um, we might take food on the road. We've yet to decide. Um, but yeah, that's our little side dish. Look who's home. Who put the glad and glad the Wow. Hercules, not me. Hercules. I'm home. Here are our final double baked, topped with tomato and vegan ranch dinner. And then we each get another half. Peter's going Valentina on his. I think I'm gonna go Tabasco. Comment below your favorite hot sauce. I love either one. I actually like Frank's Red Hot. But that's like buffalo sauce. That's my favorite, or Valentina. Sriracha's my favorite. You like Sriracha, that's more like Asian. I know, and I then, like Sriracha the most, but Sarah always gets mad at me because. <laughs> it just overpowers, and I'm like, why did I season this at all? Because it just overpowers. Um, What's that other, is it yummy? Delicious. What's the other hot sauce that Dad really liked Cholula. Cholula. I don't like Cholula. I love it. Is it good? You know it sounds really good when you pass back the bowl <laughs> back and forth to sip up the juice on the bottom. It's just vinegar so good. Did you say what we're doing tonight? Mm -hmm. They were going to a resort. We're going to a relaxing evening at Grand Destino. Okay, this is a very big deal because we're leaving the house and the sun is still kind of up. Looks a little... It would be sunny if the clouds weren't out. Yeah, but this means summer is coming. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that means sunlight. And that's huge for me who really doesn't see the sun. We goofed. <laughs> we goofed majorly, guys. I am so upset. I jokingly said before left, I was like, Sarah, let's just stay inside and hang on the couch. Just relax. And she's like, no, that, that was yesterday. We're going yeah. out tonight. Because like I was game to go out yesterday. I was in this cute outfit, put the same outfit on, got ready, felt so good about today. 
yesterday was like nice and relaxing but then like I was like I was feeling stir crazy we didn't do my shot we didn't do your shot and we didn't bring your shot yeah we just we got to Universal and Sarah's like my shot and I was like well we're at least going to the P.O. box because we plan on going to the P.O. box on the way to Disney property so we're gonna yeah. go to Disney property, but now no, we're it's, not going to Disney property. We're, no. Like our PO box is between Disney and Universal. Yeah, so. so we're gonna go to the PO box. Then we're gonna go home and do the shot. And at that point, it's gonna be close to 7:30 because it's 6:50 right now. So at that <laughs> point, like it'd be silly to drive another 30 minutes to Disney to get there at eight just to hang out for like an, a little over an hour at a resort. If the park was open, it'd be a little different. Yeah, we were like hopefully like gonna read and like show more of Grand Destino because. Really, last time we were there, we just went like straight, straight to, the to the lounge. We didn't really like explore a ton. <sighs> but she just came up with an idea. But yeah. let's go to the peel box first, and then we'll think about this idea for tonight. We need something to turn this night around because now we sh we got to the peel box like seven minutes too late after it closed. Our friend Maria let us know that there was something waiting for us, but it was too big for the peel box. So there's this slip, and we're supposed to ring the bell. And they're supposed to help us, but there it is closed. But if you can hear that laughing, all the workers are still in there. But they just aren't, because it's closed, they're not coming to help us open. So we'll have to come tomorrow after work, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. Let's go. Yay! Yay! We know someone's happy about this mix up. Get him. Come snuggle me. Get him. Hey. Damn! She's so sleepy. She's so happy. <laughs> She's coming with us. She doesn't even realize that we're about to go on a long walk. <laughs> this is the feisty side of Eve. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta say, pretty proud of this pup right here. Yeah. She walked pretty much like 95% of the way. Yeah. So we decided that we would still go out but just in our neighborhood and go to a coffee shop. We're hitting up Foxtail Coffee, which we've gone to a few times after our fertility specialist. Yeah. So we're just gonna grab some drinks, chill, See outside. if she's allowed in she's or not. not. Allowed inside. But it'll be still fun, but we also forgot our books, yeah, which we were, we were just gonna read while we are here, but oh well. We'll just have to enjoy each other's company. Yeah. Evie doesn't even know. We off, they offered, we didn't even ask. And they let her in. That's for you. She's so excited she's standing on her hind leg. Oh, now she's happy. So I know we just had a, I just had a cheesy moment the other day's vlog about Sarah editing at Wilderness Lodge, but a little known cheesy thought that I had, the first time we came here to Foxtail was after one of our infertility visits because it's around the corner from Actually, our doctor. Actually, I think it was two years ago today. Like, I'm not even joking. And I told Sarah, I was like, wouldn't it be so cool, because this is back when we lived by Animal Kingdom, so far away from here, and I was like, wouldn't it be cool, like us living here longer term, if we ended up living where we could walk here and even bring Eve here and I told Sarah even I like a picture Two of years us. ago. Wow. Monday 10 a.m. photo of T and a quiche. And a quiche. I was like I just Ooh, and a little ooh, pictured Sarah like editing here and I was walking here with the dog and bringing Eve and her just chilling and we're doing okay. it. I always wanted Sarah to see this sign right here because I run past this a lot. Right there, so you guys see the sign. Coffee is the gasoline of life. Unknown quote, that is not the quote of the day, though I think we should submit it to Sugar Boo that that should be added to the calendar. But you know what's fitting is that this looks like the Pepsi logo. It's the best of both worlds. It's Pepsi for you and coffee for me. High five the camera. I don't like coffee. And I don't but like Pepsi. Pepsi's mine. 
<laughs> I'm just joking. Right around the corner, there's Create Your Nature, which we've had acai bowls there when we were at. We've had it, and that's what Josh ordered when he helped me move in. And that's what we had, that was our sampler from your run. Yeah. Yeah. They must have just hit up the strip. Yeah. There's another entrance to Foxtail, a salon, and then a brew distillery. So it's a Winter Park Distilling Company. There's nice grass over here for Evie to chill. There isn't a dog in there, so I don't know if she will do much chilling. Oh, she's going to chill right in front of the door. Are you being a nosy neighbor? Is a couch to hang out at? Ooh. Cool. Silver medalist. Looks, looks patriotic. So I figured out, and it's bringing me back to my bourbon touring days with Dom and Company. The Winter Park Distilling Company actually has the first Florida award winning bourbon, and I can see it right there, which is why this is like a separate, like very chill, couchy, vibey that's very bourbon distillery like. Ew, I think I see a clear bourbon in there. And if that's a clear bourbon in there, that was the most revolting liquid that's ever touched my tongue when we did that on the tour. And then on the other side of this is the brew distillery, which is where they're brewing all the beers. So that's very cool. I think Eve can go in there. I just don't think tonight's the night that we're gonna indulge with it being race week. Plus there's like a big dog in there who's just chilling and Eve would just have a gas. Who else remembers Ivy Lane from St. Andrew McMahon? Yes, I'm using my, my shoe to make my phone louder. More importantly, she's the cutest. She's also the cutest and she's laying on the sidewalk. <laughs> That's nothing to do with. But she misses her old window on the ground floor. Also, I'm laying on this fake ground. It's fake ground. It's real. Like, I'm not falling through. But it's not real grass, it's plastic. But how Florida does that look? That palm tree action? My, ooh, the focus is so bad right now. Just the girl strutting her stuff with her pup. With her tea in hand. Rocking the world. I wanna check this place out. There's two or three of these in the area. Black Bean Deli, a Cuban cafe. Let me know if you've ever had it. It looks amazing, it always smells good. And I appreciate that it's been in Winter Park since 1982. Not this location, but like the company started here in 82. And now there's three or four of these bad boys. Alrighty, we are home. It's 9.48, so we'll probably just like, maybe watch some TV before we go to bed. But we're sticking to going to bed early. I'm driving Peter to work tomorrow because it's the Run Disney Expo. Can you believe it? Another one already. Um, so we gotta wake up a little bit earlier and Eve has the vet tomorrow. So we're just gonna hang out now. She's pooped. She did get carried all the way home though, right? Yeah, you're tired. This is what we're watching just for a few moments before we go to bed. Classic Pirates of the Caribbean. The OG Pirates of the Caribbean. Curse of the Black Pearl. February 19th. You were born with potential. You were born with goodness and trust. You were born with ideals and dreams. You were born with greatness. You were born with wings. You are not meant for crawling, so don't. You have wings. Learn to use them and fly. Room. Just Tom eating rice in bed. <laughs> Tomorrow, Run Disney begins. Ah! Once again. Thank you guys for all the support during our running endeavors. Thank you for helping us fundraise ACS. We're still fundraising for Chicago Marathon it's 2020. It's Chicago. Without Sarah being there because she's going to be almost about the top of the baby. <laughs> so you'll find that link down below. Um, it was a great, fun, relaxing evening. Eve is ready to pass out. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.